Well, hello there, friends. How are you? I haven't been um, too late today, I don't think. I, I think um, I'm actually pretty close to time on. Uh, I uh, this is I'm Kathy Crow. This is the Crow Cottage. Um, it's the new Crow Cottage. It's not um, quite as small as it used to be. It's a little bit bigger, but my little space is. Um, about the same size, maybe a little smaller even, but it's nicer, I've really enjoyed it. Now today I wanna to do a cute little apron box. Um, one of my teammates wanted this apron box and we were in the middle of a move and I just did not have time to get to that. So today I'm gonna to take care of that issue by just making it right here so you can see what it looks like. And um, the I at the end I will post a, uh, a PDF that has the pattern that you can cut out you can print it out and cut it out and make it yourself now it, i'm cutting it out on um a 12 by 12 piece of paper uh, cardstock and i'm actually using our old this is oops i lost a piece down on the ground <laughs> hold on there it is okay i'm i'm using uh an old piece of of designer series paper this is from I believe this is from our celebration this last year, which had some, uh, was the dashing deer, I think. Although I have always have so much old Christmas DSP laying around, I never really know what it is I'm using. Um, today, I just wanted to use up some of my scraps. So I also am using, maybe this is the one from the deer. Now this is gonna be a cute little crate. This is, um, a box card with a crate and I'm gonna post that PDF too because these projects are gonna actually go really fast. Hi Marty, it's nice to see you. Um, uh, this though, I am gonna be back at, thank you for sharing Marty, I really appreciate it and reminding me to do that. Now, I almost forgot to tell everybody there is a big sale at Stampin' Up! tomorrow through the 18th and you don't want to miss it. This one is gonna be a really good sale um, on dyes and um, I believe paper or cardstock, Marty, you would know. So you can um, tell people what the say. I know it's dies because I have that on my list and I'll have to look and see what else there is. I don't think stamps were part of it. Um, anyhow, uh, Pretty Pumpkins. Now this is a really cute stamp set. We're almost to the end of, of our fall selling season. We have really almost... Um, what, three weeks of it yet for people who are crafting. And if you haven't got this set yet, it would be pretty tough for you to get it and make much in the amount of time you have left, but you could do it. But um, I just thought before I start my Christmas stuff, I wanna do one more fall thing. And this will go really well with the, the, the apron box and the crate that I'm gonna make today um, because it, I, it's, it's a really good friend one it says if friends were pumpkins i'd pick you <laughs> you can't find much better sentiment than that and they're so thankful for you here over well over here oh there has a really nice um font it's really pretty so is the gather together this is probably one of my favorite pumpkin sets that stampin up has come up with they've had quite a few really good ones but i'm going to try to put the camera down uh it, this is always problematic every time i do it and we'll see how it works. And I still have not found, in fact, now that I have not found my blotting paper that normally would be here, I know I'm not going to now. Um, I'm not sure where that ended up. Obviously, it ended up somewhere, but not in our house. So somebody has some really cute paper pumpkin with those little puppies. <laughs> some really cute pa blotting paper to be playing around with. And I wish it was me some because really um, I'm gonna miss it and I'm gonna have to buy some more. Oh, I've got a, a lovely cord hanging around here too. And I've also still got my wind chimes attached over here. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to manage those wind chimes. I still, I we have so many of them because where we came from, the neighbors had never complained and I had gradually added wind chime after wind chime after wind chime. I'm not so sure my neighbors here will appreciate that so much. So I think I'm gonna have to try to add a little light here. Okay, well, we'll see as we go what the light looks like. All right, so um, as I said, I am going to put 
um, of the PDF for these apron pieces. Now, um, again, I cut it out on 12 by 12 cardstock or paper. You're gonna print it out on anything you want. You can make it as large or small as you want. This one actually makes a pretty large box. Oh, I forgot to bring my, my, um, my uh, cocoa and I've got some Lind candies that I should not be eating that I unfortunately bought when I was at Costco and boy, it's been hard not to plump up again over the, oh, you have no idea, Marty. I can't believe you have no idea about the sale. <laughs> you will have, oh, you've been, you must have been very busy to not know. I just would expect you to know. All right, it does include these cute little, there's a knife and a spatula or a, um, well, it is a, it's a, it is a spatula, but it's not like this spatula. Okay. It has this, I like the rolling pin. The rolling pin is very cute. I'm kind of turning it over because the stripe side's a little bit strong. Has a little heart on it. And then it also has this little ruffle and this cute little oven mitt. You would want to cut two of those out if you wanted to make a real mitt that you could tuck, you know, maybe your spatula in. All right, but I am not going to necessarily use these little pieces today. I'm just showing you what they are. Um, they do tuck really nice into the little pocket. It, it makes a nice little piece. Here's the piece for the pocket. Okay, I'm not sure how they are on the piece that I have cut. This is why you need, it is not, you cannot cut it all out on a, an eight by eight and a half by 11 piece unless you shrink it quite a bit. And you can do that. You can, nowadays with our computers, uh, they shrink things up really nicely. And then you can do that and print it out on any cardstock you want to. Or you can also just do it old school and print it and then scissor cut it, which is what I did for my pocket because I did not want this striped or, and I didn't like this side, did not want this for my pocket. So I took my red cardstock and just laid my pocket right on top of it and snip, snip, snipped, and there I have my red pocket now. Okay, so I'm gonna do the red pocket first and uh, you can just see it goes going to go together really quick and easy because it is already cut out for you. Isn't it? Nice, nice, nice. Today is a beautiful day outside. I've already been to the park. Oh man, I think today there was some wind and there is some wind, but when you come from the Tri-Cities, what we have today here in Springfield is not I would call it a light breeze. <laughs> Our weatherman called it b b windy. <laughs> and it is windy. For Springfield, this is very windy, but for Tri-Cities, this is a light, this is just a very light, casual breeze today. It's beautiful. Um, but it did keep a bunch of people out of the park, I believe, because I was there all by my little lonesome. It was wonderful. I had a great time this morning. And maybe I probably won't get out on the bike. It's um, it is it's pretty strong breeze for here. It's it is. I would say this is windy. Now that I am here in Springfield, I can I can start talking as a Springfieldering would, and not as a Tricidian, because yeah, today for us this wouldn't be anything. Barely musses up your hair. I see a kitty cat across the street. This is our favorite little white kitty cat with a black tail and little black ears. Oh, he's so cute. Or she, I think it's a she. I think Jeff said it was a she, he would know. He's the cat person. So cute. This little cat is um, a really adorable. Now here's the bottom of your box. So you're just gonna fold up the sides and then each of the sides are going to fold like this. And there are perforations printed on these patterns so it's really easy for you to see where you're supposed to be folding. You really don't, if you cut, if you just cut it out as it is and you don't really have to worry about measuring, you're just gonna put glue or tape. Now, if you're gonna use our tear and tape, make sure that you press really hard for a few seconds all along the edge and press it down and let it sit there because what happens is that tear and tape does let go if it's not pressed. Now, if you press it really good, it sticks really well, but um, I am gonna do glue because then I don't have to press for so long. Our glue actually is really good too. 
And normally, if I needed adjustment, I would probably be using my repositionable stuff, but this is gonna go pretty, pretty easy. So I can kind of just lay it on there and hope, hope that I get it on there right. And then I should get my little clothespins over and then I could clip them. But it actually sticks pretty well, pretty fast. So you don't, you don't really need to worry about even using clothespins this, with this one. This is an easy, easy box to make. And you can see it's got like, oh, what measurement is that? Let's, let's have a peek. It's pretty big. Um, I can easily put in, this is two and a half inches wide. Um, so <laughs> you can easily get, oh, three easy, th three nice cocoa packets in there. And it's actually a little too wide. If you wanna be giving, um, you know, a whole bunch of gifts away and you, you don't wanna spend that much, because if you put in two co two cocoa packets and some chocolates, it's uh, it could get it could easily get up to way over five dollars a box here. So you might want to make it smaller. But this is a nice width for the cocoa packets. They do just slide right in there. It's really easy to do. I may have done this online already. This pattern I don't remember doing it, but I might have. All right, and I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not giving you the measurements because I do really think you'll have better luck just copying what I have on that PDF. So then you don't have to worry about these sides matching so perfectly and all. It goes together really easy. Anyway, that cute little kitty cat, Jeff has made friends with it. <laughs> we had only lived in this house probably a week, and I told him there's a really sweet little kitty that lives right near us. I'm not sure which house right across the street, one of those. And you are definitely going to want to be friends with that cat. So the first time he saw it, he was out there in the driveway and now I'm looking for the little ruffle that goes on there and I know it's here somewhere but I'm not seeing it. I must have dropped it. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so here's the little ruffle. And I'm gonna put that little ruffle right on here. Mm, not too close to the bottom but somewhat close. Maybe I should snip it a little bit. Then I can put it where I want. There, There's a little angle to this. So it's big enough you can put it on the bottom but if you want it closer to the top, you might want to put it on before you do your pocket and that way you won't have to snip like I am going to have to do. Okay, now I can get it on there where I want it. So he called the kitty over, but it didn't, it wasn't gonna, you know, of course, this is the way it is with cats, isn't it? They're, and that's why I like dogs better. Dogs are just friendly to everyone. They're not exclusive. They're not, they're not, um, uh, you know, they don't really care who you are. If you're nice to them, they're gonna be nice to you. So I like dogs better because that's the kind of person I would prefer to be with and, and hope to be somebody who's nice regardless, you know. And, um, but no, Jeff is more of the, I guess that's why he likes me is he's not afraid to um, be around. People are kind of uh, like a little bit of an irritant, I guess, because if he was, he probably wouldn't still be hanging around with me. All right, I'm looking for the perfect little ribbon here. And I am, I'm not seeing, I, I'm, I don't, I could do red, but I'm seeing this nice crumb cake one right there. And I'm thinking I might like, I might like that, but I, I'm just not seeing, Ah, maybe our linen. We do have a linen. Oh, I do see a crumb cake one here. Okay, here we go. I got gotcha. you. I found one. All right, so let's see here. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to like that. Let's try it out. Okay, like this. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna like that. And then you can tie it on the inside and it'll stay nicely. However big you want it. Isn't that cute? 
so the, it didn't come to him, you know, the first time he called it and it meowed at him and, and it was almost coming and pretended and then, you know, denied. <laughs> He's so funny. So he said, yeah, it didn't come to me, but that's all right. I, I didn't. I didn't do anything. I just, you know, called it and I'll just wait. And it, oh, sure enough, you know, it comes to our back door, our patio door downstairs where we're watching TV at, in the evening sometimes when it's after dark and it probably wants inside of its owner's home and still isn't being allowed in there or something. And it'll meow at the door and it likes me I don't know why but it looks in the window and wants to be with me even though Jeff's out there petting it and loving it up and I told him don't you ever dare feed it because the that wouldn't actually be very nice even for the owners oh no of course he would never do that he's uh, and he wouldn't he knows better but I just thought I'd remind him I mean I don't mind the cat hanging around but I definitely don't want it hanging around so much so that it thinks it it lives in here or wants to be in here too much, okay? But I do see it over there, it's cute. Now, after you've done that, you can take your sides and squeeze it in so that they do, it does make a nice little, little box. Okay, isn't that cute? Now, I am making this little box because I am going to want to get around to our neighbors. I've got several neighbors next door to me here that have expressed a desire to get together once in a while. So I don't know that they're interested in crafting. Now, this little heart is kind of cute. Let's see if I can stick it on here somehow. I did cut out a little label using our um, scalloped contours. The Scallop Contours guys has this perfect size. This is like the perfect size little label. And I can stick that in here. Hmm, let's see if I wanna use my pocket to stamp on. I might, let's look. Let's see how it will look if I use my, if friends were pump, no, I don't want if friends were pumpkins because I don't want a pumpkin one in here. Although I could do that and do a pumpkin spice thing. Maybe I'll do that. Let's do pumpkin spice and we'll do, oh, I put those on on the wrong side, I think. And that's going to be just a little too long. Hmm, I'd have to adjust that. So rather than doing any adjusting, I'll just do so thankful for you. <laughs> Rather than adjust, I'll just adjust my plans instead. And we'll want to use red for sure. Real red. What these colors are. Oh, you are, Marty? Oh, good, good, good. What kind of, what set, set, stamp set are you planning to use? Do you know yet? When you get together with your neighbor. All right, very good. So let's just go ahead and snip as close to those words as I can get. I might have to cut some of the curly cue off of my... No, I won't have to. I'm just going to go over the top of my label like that. Okay. Let's cut off a tiny bit more just to even it up because I think I got it crooked. All right, there we go. And then I will use my tiny scrap of real red that I have left over down here to glue on to the back of that. Anyway, yeah, I just, um, uh, it's way too easy you know, in our old neighborhood where I gardened all the time. I was outside all of the time. So I actually knew my neighbors quite a lot because I spoke to them frequently, being outside all the time. They were right there. When they drove by, we waved. When they walked by, I went and talked to them. I never let them get away without talking to me. And um, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> okay, now you could probably put your little heart on there. That's kind of cute. 
But um, here I don't, I'm not gardening. I'm going out to the garden, which is already done for me. Boy, that's nice to be able to just walk through a gorgeous garden. Today I saw that there were, the witch hazel was blooming. Now the witch hazel doesn't bloom in the Tri-Cities for a long time. I'm not sure exactly how they have managed to get witch hazel blooming in November here. I was, sh I was shocked, I about fell down. I was so stunned that the witch hazel was, it was beautiful. And the whole thing, the bush has obviously been out and open for a while and I just haven't gone up that part of the garden because the last time I was there, the one of the guys, the volunteers was there raking leaves and things out of the beds. They keep it really neat and tidy, it's nice. But, um, so I didn't go up there where that, where that witch hazel was blue. I was looking at the muley grass. You know that pink, the, like the fluffy cotton candy muley grass? I love that stuff. And um, they have a really nice, two plants together, makes a really nice little grouping. And um, I was going to go up and look at it, but the guy was raking right there, so I avoided it and... And now I'm glad I did because otherwise I would have already known that the witch hazel was blooming. Because today when I went up there and was looking at the mealy grass, because in the morning the sun is shining exactly the way you want on it. And it's, you know, sh sh coming through the, the um, panicles. Oh, it's really gorgeous. All right, very cute. I'm gonna just tuck that in there and not stick it on. And then that way it, the tag will be right there and I can write on it. So that's one project already done. And I am gonna just scrap, put my scraps away. Now I could tuck that in, it's kind of cute. I don't know, I could have left it open and they could have tucked in there. I could even take my um, real red if I wanted to and make um, little, you know, I could make like a little holder for my, my pin on here. I could make a little little tab to kind of hold that in there. Um, one of the things you can do with this, I'm not going to, <laughs> that's gonna take way too much time, but the um, little mitt has, you can take your punch, your hole punch to punch that out if you're cutting it out by hand. And, um, and then you can put a brad in there and that is very cute. You can attach it to the side, you can attach it to your pocket. I am gonna tuck that in there, that little, little mitten, um, oven mitt is really cute. So I'm gonna save that. But the other pieces I probably won't be using. I did find some really cute, um, maybe I should keep the spatula just in case I'm using this for Christmas because the, um, I think it was at Hobby Lobby somewhere I bought really cute Christmas deck for very inexpensive. Um, spatula mini spatulas to go with you know any kind of little baking kit and anyhow oh thank you marty i'm glad you like that all right so here's our little box card crate now when you get your crate now this this again i believe this is our reindeer paper oh i said this was the reindeer paper so this might be the one from last year does it look familiar? I remember using this side a lot. It, it This has a nice wood grain on it though. Um, normally if I was doing a crate though, I would wanna do it on my cardstock so it's heavier, but this is a box card, so it's gonna need to fold flat and in, in slip in an envelope. But um, if I was n normally going to be doing a real little crate with a bottom, you know, that I'm gonna put things in, you would want to use our heavy, heavier weight, our real cardstock, so that it could handle it. This DSP is fine for a card, but not so much for holding things. But this is um, has these little tabs, and each of them is gonna have the word one, or the number one on it. There's three of them, and I only think I need two, but I, I've got three going here just in case. I really don't need them this, long, this tall. Let's trim it down a bit. Um, so you could, it doesn't matter. The numbers are just immaterial. One, two, three, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna just stagger them in whatever order you want. On these, I did not, when I, I, I don't believe there are perforations on the sides. 
to show you where to fold these. So what I did is I just laid each strip inside my crate after I'd folded the crate sides and then just folded it again so that I could see exactly you know where I wanted these folds to be. That's how I did that so you don't have to worry about how you're doing it. Now what you're going to want to do though is attach things to this. So that's one other reason why when they're kind of flimsy just DSP it doesn't work quite as well. But let's use our pumpkins. Um, I do really want to use this pumpkin. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It's cute. Let's put this one on the cover. Okay, so now I'm gonna need to move my camera up a bit. Hopefully, oh, I better unhook my power supply here. My camera battery, I think, is wimpy. <laughs> so I've been plugging it in so it doesn't doesn't die on me, but I'm, I'm, I need a little more space because it, it, it gets a bit claustrophobic even for me. If I think you guys are like right here when I bring out that cutting and embossing machine, it just feels really super, super close. So anyway, did I tell you guys about the Smallen cave that we Jeff and I went to. I think I did. I think we had already done that by because we didn't do that this last weekend. This last weekend we were looking and seeing what things we are going to do next. And oh man, there are some fun, fun things to be doing here. There, the gardens aglow is going to have garden or lights all and I was disappointed to see they'd already closed the Japanese garden. It's actually really nice weather here. It's like probably going to be in the 60s today. Beautiful for walking around and yet they've already closed the Japanese garden but you know they do have to have time to get things ready so I'm looking for my pumpkin my my pumpkin paper over here, my cardstock. That's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I know I've got some scraps. In fact, I know I have a ton of scraps. I've been using a lot of it, so I don't want to grab out a whole nother sheet of pumpkin pie. <laughs> and what do you know? Pumpkin pie, you're just like hiding in my my basket because I'm not seeing it at all. There you are. Oh my goodness. I, and look, I only have this tiny. I must be making a lot of pumpkin pie because I thought I had a whole bunch of those sheets. All right. I didn't. I lied. All right. So here we go. We're going to cut. Let's do this one and this one in one go. Oh, we're not wanting to go. Let's push you. Oh, I know my plate is kind of. Oh, I've got, <laughs> I've got a plate on there. That's why you're, you're acting up. I it I was gonna have a hard time putting three plates through. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, there we go. That's better. Let's uh, make it even. All right. Now we're gonna go back this way too, cause that. This one's fairly ornate. I haven't cut this one out a lot, so it should come out really nice. And it did. That one, I think that might be one of the first times I've cut that one through. All right, let's put you through the runner. Get you all untangled. Oh, that is pretty. Love those. Those really are pretty pumpkins. Okay, this one's really nice too, but I might need the pick to get you out. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Let me get my box card out. I wanna see how this is gonna look. So we're gonna put one here, and we're gonna put one in here. Hmm, I better get another one of these. Let's do a different different color though, not another pumpkin pie. Let's do, um, do something else. What do we want? Maybe I don't really want red and I definitely don't want yellow. I might have to find something that's uh, more of a DSP color for that. Let's see here. 
I've got like a very deep orange scrap. Let's use you. I'm going to do the same thing again. Let's do this one. And this one again. All right. Now this time I can use the cinnamon. If friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. I can use it on this one. Anyway, um, there's, um, I forgot our Bass Pro Shop is like right here, is all decorated up for Christmas. And they had, had an article in the newspaper about it to remind us, thankfully. So I put it in my calendar. I don't want to miss that. And um, it'll be a warmer Christmas walk than our gardens aglow because that one doesn't start until like five o'clock at night. You go at night, of course, when it's dark, which is, you know, going to be pretty, but I'll have to be all warmly dressed. I've gotten to be such a wimp with the cold. I used to not mind it so much, but I've gotten to be a real baby. When we, Jeff and I went to a football game this weekend and Oh, it was actually really exciting too, but I made him leave early, which I was sorry that I did because um, we missed some of the most exciting part of, <laughs> of the game, but that's because I was freezing to death. I couldn't stand it any longer. I stood it as long as I possibly could and then couldn't stand it anymore. All right, so with this set, I've cut out these two dies. Okay, there's the these two. This one's going to be pretty big, and this one's going to be a little too small, but I need it to fit in the crate. So we're going to use this one. I really like this one. This is a beautiful one. Really pretty, but we're going to use this one instead. Anyway, I didn't realize it was at the at Missouri University, and did not realize what a beautiful view they have from their stadium. Yes, we will stay bundled, Marty. I, I actually, when we went to the football game, um, Jeff said, well, I've got two pairs of those long johns on underneath my pants. I was like, what? You've got two pairs? I was too stupid to think about, not smart enough to think about wearing two. Why did I, how did that happen? I don't know. We'll do this again. Not sure how I managed to do that. So he was warmer than I was because he'd been smart enough to put two pairs along. I had one pair on underneath, but I had like so many layers of, of shirt and sweater on that my body was actually quite toasty, but my, my hands, my mittens weren't quite, he had two pairs of mittens on. It was just like that dumb and dumber thing. It's like, well, I've had this second pair of mittens, you know, the whole time. Sorry, your hands are freezing. But anyhow, okay. Now, we need to color those. And I could get out my pastels. Maybe that would be fun. Do I have my pastel candy? I'm, I keep shifting things around and finding new places to put things. And, and now I'm not sure where I put those pastels anyway. So, uh, never mind. We'll just color. <laughs> we'll just color because I won't see my pastels. All right, so here's a little Cajun craze for these lines on the bottom. Okay, we'll put a little bit here and here and here. Maybe there and there and there. The, we left when the game looked like it was pretty obvious that our our side, our bears, were going to win. And they did, but apparently there was a big close call right there around the ending of the game, just after we left. As we left the stands, we heard a big hollering and ooh, and a, some boos. And I was like, oh no, what did we miss? Knew we would miss something as soon as we left, and we did. 
but it doesn't matter. I'm not a big, you know, sports fan anyway. It didn't matter. It's just that I didn't want to make Jeff miss out on some fun. I don't usually go because I am going to, just like he usually lets me go to the park by myself because he doesn't want to be a party pooper. I don't want to be a party pooper either. So he gets to go to most of those things by himself. He said, okay, next time we'll do this or that. And I said, well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's probably, probably won't be a whole lot of these next times on coming to the game. Because I'm thinking, eh, they're so long. Oh my goodness, I'm <laughs> not that hardy. They're so long. Anyway, when you need those close calls to be called in your own favor to win the game. You don't mind all these timeouts and all, but when you're ahead anyway and you're freezing to death, it's like, stop calling timeouts because I'm cold and I want to go home. All right. Mossy Meadow. Let's try you for the leaves. The ever, Everlasting Evergreen is just really dark. It's hard for me to pull that one in a lot. Oh, this is the dark. Good thing I didn't just start randomly coloring with it. Oh, you're pretty dark too. So let's try something a bit lighter. Because that's not any good. Oh, old olive. There you are. Light old olive. The scribbler's friend. Okay, there we go. Get those little tendrils. All right, there we go. Let's put those back together again so I can find the next time I go to use them. I know, Marty. I meant to take a blanket. In fact, I told Jeff I am going to take a blanket with me because then I'll be nice and toasty and I forgot. So, you know, it was my own fault for forgetting my blanket because that really makes a huge difference. I have a stadium chair and we almost forgot that. Uh, we had it in the back of the car already <laughs> as we were walking into the game. Fortunately, we hadn't gotten out of the parking lot yet. Thankfully, because Jeff said, oh yeah, if it, he remembered, I forgot. Uh, do you need your stadium blanket or my, your stadium seat? And it's like, yeah, thank you so much for remembering. and. Yeah, I'd like you to go get it for me. Thank you. So he did, of course, because he's such a sweet guy. And I'm so glad that I had it. That keeps my backside pretty comfortable since I'm not sitting on metal seats. But having a blanket wrapped around you makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Okay. So there's our little pumpkins. So that's what we're going to do. For the inside is we're going to just stick these little pumpkins on here and um, I do think I want them that direction so I'll just do a little gluing I'm not going to worry too much about placement of the pumpkins we're just going to stick them in there and see how it goes okay there's that a box card is so fun to get. It's always got, you know, it's, it's just fun, 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 fun. All right, this one. Let's see, I need to have this one probably on a, on, a, on something because um, it's pretty flimsy as is. I don't know if I have a piece of crumb cake handy. That would be nice. Let's see if I do. Or Calypso Coral, that would work too. Let's grab that. That little scrap of Calypso Coral. Now, there is not, I don't see a die that's the outline of this. So I'm going to just do a... Try not to cut my actual image. It might not be perfect, but hopefully it'll be close enough. I don't want it to 
I don't, I don't mind, I'd rather it would be smaller than larger than. So I'm just trying to keep my little scissor blade right under there. All right, so that worked out pretty good. And then I'll just glue that onto that. That'll give it a little bit of support. Anyway, it was fun. We had a great time. And then um, we I was hungry. We hadn't eaten all day, so we stopped at our Chinese place to have some quick Chinese. Oh, it was delicious. But then when I got home, um, I'd left some scone pans, you know, in cooking, baking in our oven, I'd left two pans of scones. <laughs> and they were done and delicious looking. So, of course... I had to sample that to make sure they were okay. And, um, oh man, about th two or three o'clock in the morning, uh, my stomach decided to stop digesting my scones. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm terribly, terribly ill. I was fine after a while, but oh my goodness, I'm no more scones late at night. They're just, apparently my scones are really heavy like lead. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna stick that in there. Let's let's put it in there. Uh, should I should I put my crate together before I start sticking these in? I, I probably better. Otherwise, I'm not gonna know where I'm putting this really. So let's go ahead and assemble my little crate. Here is the picture of Jeff and I that um, they took. I put it on Facebook. <laughs> this is our small, small and cave picture. And, um, you know, we didn't really even know what he was doing. He said to us, stand over there, and you guys stand over there, and you guys stand over there. He, there, were, there were three, or maybe there were four groups of, you know, two. Two of us were in groups of two, and there was one group of three, and I think that was it. Maybe there was another group. Anyway... So when he told us, stand over there, and you guys stand over there, and you guys told Jeff and I to stand over where he wanted to take the pictures, um, he told us where to stand first. But by the time he moved everybody around, uh, we didn't really know what he was talking about when he said, okay, now, you guys st stand over there. Now, smile. I was like, why? <laughs> why are we supposed to stand over here and smile? We didn't really get what was going on until, because we're pretty slow in the uptake, I guess. So anyhow, that's partly why we are like deer in the headlight type, you know. Okay, I'm gonna fold this like this on this way because I need a little more space. I'm only gonna have room to really to put in these two pumpkins. Okay, no, I don't want it like that because that's gonna be too close. Mm. All right, I'll figure it out. We, Jeff and I are not, we've never really learned how to take good pictures, obviously. I look at our kids when they take pictures and they're, they're close together and they're smiling and they look happy and like they like each other. Our pictures are always like, well, don't stand too close to me. <laughs> You're in my space or something, you know, it's like, wow, I, I, we do actually really like each other, but you'd hardly know it when you look at our pictures. Okay, cute, cute, cute. And then the little pumpkins. We'll put one there and one there, okay? Let's glue this one on. We'll put dimensionals on the other one. Okay, what did I do? There they are. Mini dimensionals. I, this is, uh, you know, the, I love this pumpkin so much more. <laughs> the things are, st my fingers are glued, you know, got glue on them now. Then our, our harvest pumpkin one. You remember the harvest pumpkin one? I think it might still be in the catalog. The big, 
it can be an apple and it has a punch, I think. And it can be a pumpkin. I just like these a lot more. I've seen some really cute cards done with these pumpkins. So I'm so glad I got this set. I really didn't even get it necessarily for the dies. I'm going to let this one go. I, I think we'll use, use that somewhere else. And um, it was this pumpkin that I got it for, but I really like the whole set a lot. Okay. Now we're going to use this as a tag in here somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> I think, or maybe I want to tie it on. Yeah, there you go. I'll tie it on as a tag. Okay, so I'm going to fold it down and make sure all my folds are right where they need to be so that it can actually fold into a box card. But my glue is still a little sticky, so there. Okay, make sure your glue isn't... If you've got glue... um anywhere where it's going to stick. I didn't think I did, but I felt like it was. You might want to get it off before you mail it, <laughs> or it'll be hard for them to open that card back up again. Okay, so cute. Now, where are you? White cardstock. So I did not need the other little strip. I didn't think I would. I figured one would be enough, but I've got three on there just to be on the safe side. You never know. Okay, let's do our If Friends Were Pumpkins, I Pick You, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do for the, for that label. I know I've done this set before, because it's a really cute set, but I didn't think you'd mind seeing it again in a different, different way. Okay, is that big enough? Barely, barely, barely. Put our pumpkin pie out. I might get a bigger piece of white cardstock down here. So I'm not having such a hard time figuring out where to do that. Ta-da! My little chimes. Ta-da! There it is. Clean that off before I forget. All right, so don't forget there is that sale tomorrow, big sale, and um, it's only two days. You are going to want to get in there and buy your stuff quickly because I need a good die. Oops, a good die for this. Or 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 tag punch or something. Maybe I could do a tag punch. You know, I, I have a bunch of tag punches, but the sad thing is it's always easier just to get out my little stitched rectangle and just stick you on there because you're, you're the perfect size little stitched rectangle. You're quick and easy. Quick, quick, quick and easy. issues that have plagued the whole world. Stampin' Up! is not immune to it. As you already know, we've already had these kinds of issues anyway. So I am cutting off some of my little curly cues, but I'm doing it anyway because I like this. This is the perfect rectangle size for this label. All right. Oops, I don't want it crooked though. Oh my goodness. So why are you let's turn you. I think my magnetic plate is starting to to go. Maybe it's my die. It might be torqued a bit. So I'm just saying get in there and get your stuff and Get it so it gets shipped to you because um, if everybody's in there trying to buy stuff for the 
sale. Um, stuff's going to run out. It's going to be back ordered. It's going to be disappointing. If you were wanting it for Christmas, you are not going to necessarily get it. So you might want to get in there quick to give yourself a better chance of getting it. All right, isn't that cute? So, so cute. That's perfect. So let's not worry about the glue and stick that on there. There and there. Like so. Okay, so, so cute. And then I'll have my little envelope and slide it in. And that'll be a nice little little gift. Little box card you can use as an in as a as an actual mailable item. Alright, so let's try to flip my camera <laughs> and see if it'll work. Ha ha I did. I'm surprised. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. I'm glad you liked that one. I appreciate your being with me. Thank you so much, you guys, for sharing the video and watching and, and uh, liking it and all of that sort of thing. I do really appreciate it. Um, so I will put a link on the PDF for these two uh, little uh, items if you want to, um, you know, copy those onto cardstock, cut them out. It's pretty easy to make. So you guys have fun. Have a great week. Hope the rest of the week is as nice as it is today. It is beautiful. And... Um, I will see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.